Oh, I've never been so anxious about making a video. What's up everybody? My name is Pete and I play music. Over the past month or so, you've probably seen there has been a plethora of one hour song challenge videos going out on YouTube. Rob, Rumi, Mary Spender and Andrew Wong have all made videos where they made a song in an hour. And now you guys have challenged me to do this as well and that scares the crap out of me, but who am I to argue? So I'm all set up, I've got a bass tuned up over here. I asked you guys on Twitter, should I use a six or a seven string? And you guys chose the seven string, which is really noisy, why? I also put a poll out on Instagram asking if I should use the Jam Jar amp or the Spamp, and you guys chose the Spamp. It was pretty close though. So I've got all the amp and stuff set up on my left to get the tone. I've got an A cam and a B cam. B cam is running at a different frame rate, but I'll worry about that later. And A cam stops recording every 10 minutes. I guess I'll have to keep an eye on that. I've also got a stopwatch down here on my phone so I can keep my progress and you guys can see I'm not cheating. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. It could go good. Bad. Ugly. <laughs> I'm super nervous. Hopefully on the other side of this we shall have some kind of song. Okay, let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is set a tempo using a random number generator. So I'm going to get my tempo just as I start the stopwatch. So three, two, one, go. One, three, five. Okay. So kind of like a dubstep -y tempo. Hello, Pete from the future here. So this is where things started to go wrong. So Bcam stopped recording at this point. That's kind of important because it was keeping an eye on all my progress and showing you what I was doing on the computer screen. I noticed this about 40 minutes into the hour. So up until that point, there's no timer and no screen at all. So in order to keep the video interesting, I'm gonna go in and recreate with some screen capture software some of the things I was doing. Smash cut, back to yesterday. Okay, so first thing I think I'm gonna do on the actual composing of the music is just put in some really rough drums, which is breaking all my rules because I usually don't do that, but sometimes having a drum pattern can help me generate ideas really quickly. Okay, so basic drums in. Let's start playing around with some riffs, see what we've got. 58 minutes left. like this. I'm gonna change the tempo. Uh, let's generate something else. 166. That's a bit better. That's better. More rocky. Okay, so it's immediately generating ideas at a faster tempo, so I'm gonna record straight in and go from there. 53 minutes remaining. So this is where I kind of begin to flesh out a song, I guess. There's 50 minutes remaining. I'm not sure I like that drum beat anymore, so I might get rid of that. But that to me sounds like it could be some kind of intro building to something where the drum beat goes faster. So I'm going to do that now. 49 minutes. This is so nuts that this all has to be done within an hour. Okay, so <laughs> I think the kind of vibe I'm going for here is some kind of lo-fi guitar sound. So something different from the full-on metal which I'd normally go for. Okay, so I think next I need to progress this into a verse. I want some kind of variation on that to make my verse. <laughs> So I think that is my verse. Right, so I'm gonna listen now to what I have and that'll give me an impression as to where to go with the song structure. 33 minutes. <laughs> this is scary. So I think I need a chorus or some kind of pre-chorus. I'm thinking for a chorus, maybe have some more chord-based stuff instead of the intricate stuff that's been going on in the verses in the intro. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so first chorus in at 26 minutes, 12 seconds left. <laughs> I need to really very, very quickly punch in some kind of bridge. 25 minutes left is not enough to do this. <laughs> Sure, that'll work. At this point, I'm so low on time, I'm just gonna go with any idea that comes through. So the bridge is going back into the chorus again. Uh, and I'm basically, I think I'm gonna end it by putting it back into the main riff that we started with. Nice bookend to the whole song. And I'm gonna double it. it. Means I have to punch in some kind of ending. Yeah, I'm just gonna end on a big open power chord, I think. Not even gonna let it ring out for as long as I should because I don't have time. All right, let's uh, let's worry about the drums later. Let's go straight onto the bass. I have 18 minutes. I can't believe that that wasn't recording. Ooh, this is tense. Okay, I'm gonna have to record this in section by section and copy and paste it if I need to. Okay, that's uh, that's the intro done. Verse. 16 minutes and I still have to do drums. Okay, bass done. I have... 11 minutes, 54 seconds to figure out what the hell to do with the drums. So I like this kind of boom boom gap, boom 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 gap vibe that's going on. Put in some cymbals and let's keep that. I think I'm gonna make a stop just before the main drums and bass kick in. That, something like that. Something like that. So for the verse, I think the drums need a bit less, need to be a bit less sparse, and they need to be on hi hats. Kind of a, uh, a drum and bass beat, actually. At least as far as the kick and snare are concerned. Don't have time to really throw ideas around. I just have to go with the first thing which comes to my head right now. I feel like this video is probably a mess to watch, but I, this is sorry. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have time for fills and it pains me. Okay, so bridge. This was a variation on the verse, so let's take the verse drums and give it a china. That seems to work well for most cases. Buddha, buddha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna change that slightly because I'm not happy. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop this down to one guitar. I have one minute, ten seconds left. This has got to work. Oh, it's putting in some kind of fill here because I'm not happy. I've like, actually, I haven't got the rest of the song at the back done yet. Ah, oh. 47 seconds. Perfect time to make a mistake, of course. Just want to put some in some kind of fill here. I guess it'll be da 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 something like that. Da 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 da. Just simple snare roll. This is probably going to sound rubbish because I haven't auditioned it. Yeah. Four seconds. Ah, I think that's it. So that's a thing. That's a song of of sorts. Whether that's good or not is up to you. Okay, so listening back to it for the first time, I can tell straight away where I'd change things and what I'd want to change about it. I would change the verses. The verses lack any kind of variation. The first one is exactly the same as the second one. The, <laughs> the main riff, when the drums and the bass come in, that needs to be double the length it is. Yeah, and also some of the stuff towards the end of the bridge where it drops out, it just needs finessing. There's some potential here in some of in what I've got, I think, but 
yeah, it's it's not very good as it is. <laughs> this was actually a really fun experiment, one of the more fun ones. I was really nervous coming into it, but it, you can get some good ideas out in an hour. Um, a full song? Mm. Not so sure about that. A rubbish full song, perhaps. Not my finest work, but I'm gonna polish this turd and mix it right now. You, however, can cut right to the playthrough and see what the finished thing actually sounded like. Yeah, the song may not be the finest piece of work I've ever done, but I had fun and I hope you enjoyed watching the, the process of it coming together. This was obviously influenced by Rob Scallon's video and all the other YouTubers who have tried this. Go check out their videos if you haven't already, there's links in the description. Next time I will spend more than an hour on a song and hopefully it will be better than this one. If you want to see more of my videos you can subscribe over there, there's Patreon over there for extras like tabs and backing tracks. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.